Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here, back with more Let's Play Shining Force CD, and we are still in this tower, they're trying to flank us, we're not going to let that happen, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go. Um, as much fun as it would be to kill these two, I, I don't, I don't particularly care. We can probably lure them... Probably back around at this rate. Alright, so everyone's just gonna move. No, nope, they're they're gonna try to flank us. That's fine though. That's fine. They're not gonna catch up to us. We're we're so far ahead at this point. I could probably kill the boss. Now one thing I actually can do is with my range units, depending on where he's at, I could move uh shade here and he would be in in range, so I could shoot him. Um so we could start trying to take him out from there. We can't fly over this because of what the terrain actually is. So the Shining Games, it's really weird because of the the, the view that they use. Um, some things you can kind of fly over, and then some things are not things that you can fly over. Um, so like these are walls that are supposed to go all the way to the top, like pillars. So that's why I can't fly over this because it's it's to the ceiling, uh, which is interesting. It's it does make it rather difficult at times, especially in some of the older uh, Shining games like this, where you're like, okay, why can't I fly over this, but I could fly over something s a wall similar? It it yeah, it raises raises some questions based off of depth perception. <laughs> All right, so we have basically outran that entire group. The skeletons and the brass loader not really going to be a threat. Like, the priest is going to go up and just hang out with him. So, we don't have to worry about him at all until we start going to deal with the uh, the hell sniper. So, that's, that's good. And now I don't need to worry about positioning as much. Um, just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Why not? I can make him use all of his MP before we even get to him. And Shade is now level 11. Which reminds me, alright, Claude is still level 9, I need to fix that. And then, that's, that's it, everyone else is fine. Um, so Claude needs to get a hit on someone. It doesn't really matter who. Oh hey, there he's gonna try to come back down. Oh you Oh you dick. That's 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 clever. But it's also obnoxious because now he can't dr drop the medical herb. Not that I think he would drop the medical herb to begin with. I don't think it's a guaranteed drop. I was Kinda hoping it would be, but... Alright. Skeleton comes after Nick. Nick takes a point of damage. Nick's gonna counterattack for six. And the priest is still going to heal himself, so they're just using multiple means of... of wasting resources. Alright, and Nick's gonna get attacked again. And there we go. And Claude. Let's do some damage with Claude. He's gonna level up seven points of damage. It's better than nothing. Oh, I can I can't because I'm too far away from anyone. It's like I could cast Blaze too, but I can't, because too far away. Alright, let's start beating up on the brass loader. 15 points of damage. Really... Should look and see what, like... Everyone's got. Like, I, I did make sure to equip... Yeah, Battle Axe... Was what we got from here. Uh, the Spear on... Apis. Okay, so I have not equipped that yet. So that's that's the thing I need to equip. So 
So, speaking of, it's Apis's turn. 36. Uh, let's... Let's move right here and go after the Skeleton. Because the Skeleton, I think, is going to be more of a threat. See, that was 15 points of damage. What is Apis's attack versus, like, say, Nick? Attack of 37. Attack of 38. And I've got the, the better sword equipped. Yeah. So, like, I'm doing kind of crap damage. And that's... That's disappointing me. And Roos, you're level 10, so I'm going to see if I can get you to level 11. Probably not off this kill. No. I had big dreams. Um, sure, why not? I mean, I, I can't, unless I get some sort of critical hit, I don't think I can kill him. And it, it'll keep him occupied for at least the time being. Alright, so, let's deal with him. And I don't want to get the kill with him because he's already level 11. Heal yourself. Use all of your delicious MP on stupid things. Uh, what is Mayfair's to next level? 37. So there's really not much I'm going to be able to do. Like, I can do this, and it's going to do a little bit of damage, but not a ton. Seven points of damage, which, that's seven guaranteed points of damage. Whereas, I think she can do in the neighborhood of, like, ten with a normal hit. So, alright, I'm going to send Cray over. And... I'll send Apis over. And they're going to go deal with the, the mage and the skeleton. They're going to try to to get in my face. Alright. Um, yeah, let, that'll do four points of damage and kill him. And that should level her up. I think. Yep. I was like, she's got to be close. So, that's good. Everyone's getting closer to level up. Alright. Hell Sniper's not really gonna do much anything. Um. I feel like I should heal Nick. I don't know why, I just feel like that's probably a good thing. So. And 11 XP, so not a terrible waste. Um. All right, let's. I'm gonna have him go up and start dealing with uh, the priest. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to. This is. Uh, yeah, this is what I'll do. Just get right up in his face and do that. I should probably send someone with a little bit more range support over to help. But... Oh, you're gonna melee? Okay, see, that's the thing. I was worried he was gonna cast Blaze and do a ton of damage, and then I'm gonna have the Skeleton come in, but the Skeleton's only gonna do one point of damage. So... I'm not as worried now. I am, however, questioning... His decision-making skills. Yeah, like... The hell are you thinking? I think Claude is my last person to level up. Um... Ah! Have to bump the mic. Alright, uh... Da -da -da -da. What? Cray is also level 10, but he's... He is about ready to level up. 
he just okay. I've I've got to do more with Claude. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let the priest. I'm gonna let the priest die to to Claude. In the meantime, let's do some more damage. Let's just do some damage to the Hell Sniper. Why not? Six points of damage. Magic scales so interestingly in this game. Um, uh, cast boost. Why the hell not? Defense and quickness. However, I hate the sound effect and only 8 XP. Alright, let's kill him. Because I don't want him to be alive anymore. And then I'll, I'll have Cray deal with the skeleton. And we should be good for now. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, okay, good. Didn't hurt as much as I was expecting it to. Like, I was expecting... I was expecting bad. <laughs> like... <coughs> okay, instead of healing himself, because he has the MP to do so, he attacked Nick with a melee attack. Alright, that should level him. Um, you know, I might... <coughs> um, I might send... Damn it, Claude. Now I gotta wait another round. Alright, I'm gonna put him there. That way, no one can get in Claude's way, or no one can attack Claude. Come on. Alright, I'll have Claude kill him. I might have Claude go over and kill the skeleton, just to make sure people are the level they need to be. Alright, um... Okay, yeah, that's fine. He's He wants to come down and see me. That's... That's okay. I'll have... Yeah, that's that's fine. Because... Two whole points damage. Alright, that's... As long as no one counterattacks... Alright, kill him. Now, Claude. I need... How much... How much... Age... Eleven. I don't think... Wow, boost did not last long at all. That's disappointing. Alright, let's... Try to... Block him in. And... Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. If... What I want to do is get, um... A chance to hit with Mayfair. Uh, because she can do, like, six points of damage with, with... Hell. And that will guarantee... The kill for, uh for Claude. And that should, except Mayfair also is still only level 10. So, what I'm gonna have to do is just go ahead and attack the Hell Sniper with, with Claude. Alright, Claude's level 11, that's okay. I completely forgot that Mayfair was still only level 10. Alright, I don't want to attack with my ranged units. I really don't want to attack with anyone at the moment, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna block him in. And now he can't attack anyone. And now he can't go anywhere. 
but he can attack, which is fine. Come on. There we go. Okay. Mayfair. Kill him. Thank you. Mayfair's level 11. Everyone's level 11. Now I can, I can stop with this farce. Do some more damage with Claude. Six whole points of damage. But now no one can attack other than my people. All right, let's let's do that. Five points of damage left. Um, what is? I might just go ahead and get the kill with Claude still, because <laughs> that is some that is some terrible XP. But to be fair, I also did kind of use him to just hang out and get uh, some treasures. So. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh. oh, thank god. Okay. Oh, I was... I was gonna be real unhappy there for a second, you know? Alright. So now we get to move on to... This is Battle 10. Is what we're moving into. And there's Waldo! So we meet again! Tell us, who are you looking for? I'll tell you, but you will have to defeat me first. Oh, no, it's, it's Bazoo, not Waldo. Okay. I'm, I'm mixing up my evil villains. Alright, so this fight... We've got... A lot of choke points. Oh god, looking at this. Alright, and then there's two items that we can get. So let's look and see who the enemies we've got here are. We've got Arch Knights, HP of 29, MP of 17, Attack of 26, Defense of 19, Agility of 13, Movement of 7. With Boost 2 and a Bronze Lance for whatever reason. I'd... Why do the Knights have Boost? Really? Skeletons back for more. HP of 26, Attack of 23, Defense of 19, Agility of 12, Movement of 6, Middle Sword, and Medical Herb. So we've got a grand total of two Arch Knights and three Skeletons throughout the map. Um, we've got Priests, same as before, HP of 26, MP of 9, Attack of 19, Defense of 16, Agility of 11, Movement of 5, Heal 2 with a Power Stick, another Skeleton... Master Mage, back again. HP of 25, MP of 21, Attack of 20, Defense of 19, Agility of 13, Movement of 5, Blaze 3, and Dispel. And has a Protect Staff. Apparently we can get a Protect Staff in this fight according to the item drops. So I don't know if that's off of him. There are two Master Mages, so... Let's see, we've got... Hell Sniper, HP of 28, Attack of 24, Defense of 23, Agility of 12, Movement of 5, Steel Arrow, and again, Steel Arrow is the crap arrow, they don't have the extended range, so that's not something we have to terribly worry about. There is the second Master Mage. Hell Sniper, okay, he's got the Assault Shell, so that's the, the item we can get. So, and then he's got a Power Stick, and there are two, two Pegasus Knights hanging out. HP of 23, MP of 11, Attack of 24, Defense of 21, Agility of 11, Movement of 7, again with Boost 2 and a Bronze Lance. Why do Knight classes have Boost? And then we've got the boss. We've got Bazoo. HP of 49, MP of 74, Attack of 23, Defense of 22, Agility of 22, Movement of 5. He has the Bolt spell and the Attack spell. Bolt is the thing we have to worry about, because Bolt is is kind of a heavy-hitting spell. So at this stage of the game, that means all of our positioning coming up here is going to suck. So, this will be fun. And then, like I said, we've got choke points all over the place. We've got a bunch of, like, single chokes, and we've got, like, a larger choke that you could go through, but... It's six of one, half dozen of the other. Like... 
but again, what I was just talking about earlier with things that you can kind of fly around, now we're outside, these don't go, quote, to the ceiling. So I can position myself quite well, and I'm actually out of time for this episode, so I'm going to go ahead and end here, and I will see you all in the next installment, where we will continue going after Bazoo. So, till then, later, everyone.